Aeon is a Latin word that tends to be translated to mean age, generation, or period of time. Lamy was likely focusing on the modern age for their Aeon, combining modern and minimalistic features in the aesthetics for their newest pen. I've spent the last few weeks exclusively using the Aeon at work and while taking notes from my online classes. And I have to say, there is little about this pen that can be criticized. Let's start with the outside of the Aeon. It is made of aluminum and has a brush finish to give it a rough coating that is both nice feeling and abrasive enough to double as a nail file. The brushed aluminum extends from the base to the top of the cap with no accents, breaks, flares, or anything other than just the monotone color of the brushed aluminum. Even with the cap removed, there is no change in appearance, staying monotoned and generally simplistic, which can be a good thing depending on what you're looking for. This gives the AN an overall boring or unexciting appearance though. The monotone color shouldn't be a problem as long as the pen functions well. So starting off with the cap. The cap does take a little bit of extra pressure to take off, but it can still easily be done with one hand, making it ideal for opening with one hand and doing something with the other, like answering the phone. But putting the cap back on in lies one of the first problems. If you do not line the cap up correctly, the cap will prevent itself from going back on, and there's no wiggle room or forgiveness if you don't line it up perfectly. It will stop it with all of its might. Aligning the cap correctly, it will put the cap back on securely, but with an understated and unenthusiastic one thing to note is that the Aeon is a fairly long pen. I don't usually post my caps, but when I try to post this cap, it really makes the pen gigantic. But for those who want to post the cap, it posts very firmly. And while it does change the balance a little, the overall lightweight of both the body and the cap, the change isn't drastic. The clip on the cap is very functional, able to easily glide into most pockets or pre-made pen pouches with ease. The design of the clip allows you to pinch the end, which spreads apart the opening, which allows you to clip the, the pen onto other things, such as a thicker pocket or even just a loose lanyard. Underneath the clip, there are three small grooves that I can only assume prevent thick cloths from sliding upward toward the base of the clip. I'm not sure exactly what this is for, but the only thing I can really speculate to is that this prevents a clumping of the fabric, which would possibly put too much pressure on the hinge and therefore make the clip pop off. The grip on the Aeon is wonderful. The matte finish is comfortable and grippy under all conditions. When I say all conditions, I even include greasy potato chip fingers. The grip is a hair thicker than what I would have initially liked but it took less than a day for me to adjust and find it very comfortable. The nib on the Aeon performs beautifully, especially for taking notes or writing things that do not require any flair. This is because the nib on the Aeon is very stiff. You can get some line variation out of it, but it's only if you push a little bit harder than one normally would when writing. I have the new extra fine nib on my Aeon. And while it is smooth and great to write with, I personally prefer the performance of the standard extra fine lime nib. But this highlights another great feature about the Aeon. It does accept all other Lamy standard steel nibs. So whether you like another nib or you just want to have a sorted collection of quick swapping nibs, all the options are possible. In conclusion, I love this pen. It is everything I want for an everyday workhorse pen. Its simplistic design and rugged material make it an ideal pen to carry when you go into a setting that may be less than safe for a fountain pen. In the end, my only two problems with the pen is the cap can be finicky when putting on, and the look is generally not exciting. But none of those complaints take away from the functionality of this pen. I highly recommend this pen to anyone who is looking for an all-round rugged pen.
just as long as the minimalistic design doesn't put them to sleep while looking at it. Thank you for watching. If you like my style of review, please comment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, so that way you can be notified whenever I come up with my next reviews or videos. Thank you.